Argument A. The USFG is creeping totalitarianism. The affirmative team said that the USFG should increase its funding and or regulation of the public schools, but in reality, it isn't the USFG's job to be involved in education. My evidence is from Carrie L. Morgan from the Loaning Institute. The Constitution, of course, explicitly binds Congress by enumerating which congressional powers are delegated and how they are to be lawfully employed. As a binding compact, any powers exercised by the federal government must be in accordance with that compact. Constitutionally, the federal government is a government of limited and enumerated powers. Power not delegated to the federal government by the written constitution is reserved to the states or to the people, respectively. Education is not among the enumerated objects of the constitution. Article 1 doesn't even authorize Congress to establish a Department of Education, much less grant it jurisdiction to encourage the education of the people in several states. The impact of this argument, Judge, is that the affirmative team is encouraging Congress to further violate the Constitution. If we are to protect our democracy, we must protect the Constitution. Judge, stand up and protect your rights by voting no. If you don't, then who is to stop the USFG from taking our other rights?